the pickle mania here on Talk Pittsburgh continues. I'm here with the bar manager at the Coxcomb. We have Cass Robel here, and she's going to mix up two cocktails that are delicious. They are. And we're going to start with something. We were just talking a little yeah. bit about this briny mix. Mm -hmm. yep. Tell me more about it. The briny Mary. So we actually went um, double platinum in a worldwide uh, Bloody Mary mix competition. Wow. Uh, we, yeah, uh, every from all over the world, uh, yeah, we won in uh, most unique and uh, best mild. And what do you find is so unique about this mix? So we use um, pickle brine, obviously, and uh, just to give it a little bit of acidity, a lot more flavor. Um, I mean, it's it's a great mix. Um, it has a really nice consistency. And what's awesome about this mix is you really don't need to doctor this up at all. Um, it's a perfect balance of spice, uh, horseradish flavor, acidity, pickle flavor. Um, so yeah, it's it's really simple. You just add your vodka, add your ice, and pour Ooh, it over. Done. So let's get it. Let's do it. Okay. So we're gonna. What do you have here in the yeah, bottom? Yes. So I already have here an ounce and a half of vodka. Okay. And then I have it rimmed with a homemade uh, salt, pepper, and dill mix. Wonderful. So you just, yeah, you just rim that with like a slice of lemon and it sticks right on there for you. I love that this is like all ready to go. It is, yeah. And what do you like find the spice level is on it? Uh, some, some people like it really in spicy. In my opinion, I, I like spicy. Um, the spice is definitely there. I would probably just give it like a five, honestly. And again, we want the spice to be there, but we don't want to the overpower spice be it. overpower it, yeah. exactly. So we're gonna pour it over our ice and just give it a quick roll. And then you can garnish it with whatever garnish you would like. I typically like to use a lemon, lime, obviously a pickle. <laughs> you gotta throw that pickle gotta in. Gotta throw the pickle in there. And then uh, an olive. So look at that. Look fun. at that. I know some easy, people make easy. this like a whole meal Absolutely. on the Bloody Mary, mm -hmm. but I love what you've done here. Absolutely, yeah. A lot of the it's, the possibilities are endless when it comes to garnishing a Bloody Mary. They really are. Okay, I need to give this yeah, a sip. absolutely. It's been a day already. Absolutely. I, I understand. <laughs> That's why mm. I'm here. <laughs> That's lovely. Good. Glad I you like it. I can see why that mix has won awards. Mm -hmm. It is. It's very balanced. And the but spice level? Not bad. Good. But you get that nice mix. And yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. All of it. All right, so next up, what Perfect. are we making? Let's do the Pittsburgh Pickle Martini. So already in my mixing glass, I have two ounces of vodka and a half ounce of vermouth. And then we're going to do two to two and a half ounces of our pickle elixir. And this is just straight up pickle juice. Do you have fun playing around with I some of this do. stuff? I do. I have a lot of fun. I have a, I love my job. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love my job. This looks great. And yeah. what, I want to smell this. What yeah, is absolutely. Pickle elixir? Just pickle elixir, yeah. Oh, wow. And what's like cool about pickle juice too, um, you know, a lot of athletes use it for like muscle cramps because it has a lot of electrolytes in it. Right. So I'm basically making you a really healthy cocktail in a sort of sense. This is great. And this smells, I mean, it smells like a pickle. Absolutely. I mean, as it should. As it, as should. it should. I hope it does. <laughs> So we're just gonna give this a quick stir to chill. I can't wait to and try And then this we one too. have the same um, salt, pepper, dill, salt uh, rim mix on there, garnished with a Pittsburgh pickle, of course. I was gonna ask you, what kind of pickle is this? So you know? this one is our Pittsburgh style. So this one's like our original flavor. Um, we try to describe it as sort of like an everything pickle. Yeah. So primarily dill, little hint of salt, sweet, sour, and the brine. Okay. And cheers. Trying to slowly move this over Slow, here so yes. I don't spill it. <laughs> Oh, wow. That'll wake you up. Yeah. <laughs> that is amazing, though. Good. And it's not heavy. Like, sometimes when you get a martini, you can taste the alcohol. You don't because the pickle brine. Absolutely. It balances it out. Absolutely. I'm glad you enjoyed it. So much fun. Do you have any specials yeah. for today for National Pickle Day? National Pickle Day, yeah. I mean, our, our homemade uh, Pittsburgh pickle martini. Uh, Dollar off for happy hour. We have happy hour Monday to Friday from 4.30 to 7. Awesome. Come check it out. Yes. And we want to let you know that the Coxcomb is located along William Penn Highway in Monroeville. It's open daily. The new menu is now available. Products from Pittsburgh Pickle Company are located at Giant Eagles in the area and on Amazon as well. We're going to have more information on our website at kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh. And still to come on the show, there seems to be a connection with being a child and having some sort of collection. Whether it's a toy or something from nature, it's something that many kids have enjoyed as a hobby. We're talking about it during the three o'clock drop and sharing some of your responses next.